Gregor continues to raid the villages of the Riverlands from the Lannister army's base at Harrenhal. His men torture the prisoners they take for information about the Brotherhood and hidden valuables. He selects the prisoners for torture personally. Sir Amory Lorch adds a group of captured Night's Watch recruits to the captives. Tywin arrives during the torture and asks Gregor what is going on. Gregor says that they were not expecting Tywin for another day. Tywin asks why the prisoners are not in their cells. Gregor says that their cells are overflowing. One of Lorch's men interjects that the prisoners will not be there long. Tywin asks if they are so well manned that they can afford to discard able and skilled prisoners. He asks a prisoner if he has a trade and learns that he is a smith. Tywin orders the prisoners put to work, sparing the young man. When the ironborn under the command of Theon Greyjoy attack Torrens Square, to lure the remaining Stark forces away from Winterfell, Sir Roderick Castle assumes that it could be a raiding party led by the Mountain or Sellswords paid by Tywin. Following the assassination of Sir Amory just outside Tywin's chamber, Gregor is tasked with finding the culprit. Tywin fears that he was the intended target and has Sir Gregor hang over thirty of their own men. Gregor suggests an infiltrator from the Brotherhood without banners was responsible and Tywin dispatches him to pressure the small folk of the Riverlands into giving up the members of the Brotherhood. Tywin marches back to the Westerlands and leaves Gregor to serve as castellan at Harrenhal.